Hey Matthew, can we talk for a second? It's about your mom. I'm not trying to complain or anything. It's just that she's been messaging me every single day lately. She keeps asking when we're going to have children. Isn't it a little weird? You know about how persistent she's being. She wasn't like this before, was she? She's fine as far as I know. But I don't know why you're acting so surprised. I mean, come on. We've been married for three years now and still no children? She's a woman who just wants to meet her grandkids. After three years and no baby, just about anyone would start getting testy, no? Oh, yeah. I get that. I really do. But surely she knows that children don't actually come by stork, right? But she asks me like every week about how it's going. You know, for some people, even asking about that could be considered rude. And the way your mom is going about it, I feel like I'm being taken hostage or something. I can't even relax in my day-to-day -day life because I'm worried about when your mom is going to call and chastise me again. Hey, that's my mother you're talking about. That woman is a saint who just wants to see her grandchild before she kicks the bucket. And here you are demonizing the poor woman, all just because you can't get pregnant. That's really low. Look, I know she can be a little overbearing, but you're the reason she's badgering you so much. This whole problem stems from the fact that you're having a hard time getting pregnant. Is that really what you think? I have to say, it doesn't really make me feel any better. I'm not trying to blame you or anything. I'm just trying to analyze the situation. Why don't you try going to a clinic or something? Yeah, that's it. Then at least you can show mom that you're being serious about it. That'll get her off your back. While I appreciate the advice, I can't help but feel like you haven't considered the possibility that the problem might be on your side. Making a baby is a team effort after all. Have I considered the possibility that I might be the problem? Hmm, let me think about it. Uh, no. How would I be the problem? Just think about it for a second. <laughs> the one who gets pregnant carries the child, and then ultimately births the child is the woman. Where in that equation do you see me? Hate to break it to you, but it's all your job. How can you blame the man in that scenario? Yes. While it is true that it is the woman who gets pregnant and carries the child, I think you've forgotten the 7th grade health class. It's not like a woman can get pregnant on her own. It takes two to tango. I don't think it's right to just assume the problem is with the woman. So I'd like it if you came to the hospital with me. Then we can both get tested and put this behind us. What? Why do I have to go? You don't need me there. I'm actually busy with working stuff, you know? The thing that keeps us alive? You're a stay-at-home wife. You have all the time in the world to just go by yourself. I can do that. It's no problem. But that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm saying if things are all clear on my end, then we're going to need you to get tested too anyway. If that's the case, we can just go together, get it over with, and put it behind us. You know your mother isn't going to back down without a progress report. Don't worry though, if one of us can't have children, then that's fine too. You don't have to worry, we can have a nice life together alone. I don't mind if it's just the two of us. What are you talking about? You know how dead set that woman is on meeting her grandchild. I don't want to rob her of that joy, do you? Now you're saying that you don't even want the kid? You're saying that we should just give up? Stop trying? No. I'm not saying we have to give up or stop trying or whatever. All I'm saying is, if the worst case scenario comes to pass that I'm here for you and I want you to be there for me, even then, if you really want a child, there are other methods too. We can adopt or have imp implantation or whatever it is. Then it's not our child. There's no point. I'm not going to be stuck raising someone else's brat. Where is all of this coming from? My mom calls you once a week and now you're looking into adoption? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying even if we can't have a child, then it's not the end of the world. But the fact of the matter is we've been together for three years and we haven't gotten pregnant yet. So that's why I'm suggesting we both go to the hospital, get checked, and move on with our lives. And that's why I'm saying I'm too busy. I do not have time. 
Does that compute? Go by yourself. If everything checks out, then maybe I'll go some other time. Matthew, are you even going to try? You're just putting everything on me. Do you even want a kid? Sometimes I feel like you only care about appeasing your mom. Yeah, calm down, geez. Have you always been this much of a nag? Look, if I get some spare time, I'll go, okay? Is that good enough for you? Really? Okay, but that's a promise. Don't go blowing it off later. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll go as soon as I get time. In the meantime, go get checked yourself. If you have a problem, there's no point in me going. Bye. Matthew, do you have a minute? We need to talk. What is it? Wait, is it going to take an actual minute or longer? Grow up for a second, okay? You remember what you said the other day, right? You know, about the whole your mom will leave me alone. So let's get a fertility test thing. Turned into a big ordeal and almost a fight. Not ringing any bells? Well, anyway, I just had it done. Oh, that's right. I guess I tried to block it from my memory. <laughs> so how did it go? Any problems with the oven? <laughs> I just got the results and no, not a single problem. Everything is in tip-top shape. The doctor said I'm completely healthy and that I should have no problems with pregnancy. Great! That's good to hear. I guess that means that our timing hasn't matched or something. Well, I'm sure that can be an issue. We've been at it for three years now, so I don't think it's a timing issue. After all this time, it is likely that something isn't working as it should. I went and got tested and everything is fine. So now it's for you to go get your test. What? Why do I have to go get tested? There's nothing wrong with me. Are you sure that your doctor wasn't just some quack? At any rate, going to the clinic and everything is a huge pain. Let's just forget about it. No. Matthew, the whole reason we're doing this is because of your mother. You said that you'd go when you got the time. Yeah, I did say when I get time. I do not have time, hence I'm not going. I work like a dog to keep food on the table and a roof over our heads. I'll go get tested if you're okay living in the streets. Oh, don't pull that with me. We live together in case you've forgotten. I know that on the weekends you sleep past noon. And even when you go out under the guise of running errands, you really just go out to hang with your buddies. If you are serious about going, you can go whenever you want. You just don't care. That's all. Oh, here we go. Just get mad and start blaming everyone else like always. Maybe this is why we don't have a kid yet. You pester me so much, how could I even get in the mood? And, for your information, getting enough sleep is essential for good health. And hanging out with my friends is important for my mental health. A man can't just work 24-7. He needs to refresh sometimes. You play the victim so well. I believe you if I didn't know you. Just make an appointment and go to the doctors first. After you do that, then you can go meet your buddies or go back to sleep or whatever it is you want to do. It's such a pain though. I have to suffer at the office every day. I don't want to go to sleep Friday night knowing that when my alarm goes off in the morning, I have to trudge on down to the doctor's office. You know what? No, you do not get to tell me what to do on my days off. Fine, don't. I do not care. I'm doing all this for you and your mother. I don't really need a kid if that's how you're going to act. I didn't marry you to have a child. I married you because I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Child or no child. Sure, I'd like one, but I'm fine just being with you. That's what I decided when I took my vows. So if you don't want to go to the doctors, then don't. I don't care. Oh, really? Well, if that's how you feel, I guess there's no helping it. <laughs> yeah, if that's where we're at on the situation, then okay, I am not going then. Like I said, I'm fine with it. What about your mom? What's she gonna say? We might be fine without having a kid, but what are you gonna do about her? Is it okay for me to tell her we're not having kids? Tell her. What do I care? No, but in all seriousness, I kind of forgot about that. I guess I understand where she's coming from. I am an only child after all. If I don't give her one, then that means she'll never have a grandchild. Not sure why that should be my problem though. Well, take some time and think about it. If you don't want one, then you explain it to your mom. 
If you do want one, then go to the doctors and get tested. All right, I got it. I got it already. You made your point. Fine, okay. I'll go to the doctors next time I have off. Really? Great! Do you want me to make an appointment for you or will you handle it? Well, yeah, I pretty much have to go. You're relentless, like a bear after honey or something. <laughs> I can see it already. If I don't go now, you're just going to end up harping on me forever. I can't handle that. I'll start dreading my days off instead of enjoying them. Hey, Matthew, what's this envelope that's just been lying on the table this whole time? It says test results. It's not mine, so I can only assume it's yours, right? Oh yeah, it's mine. I just tossed it there. It's fine. You just toss it here? Huh? Well, it's been sitting here for a few days now. Are you planning on doing something with it or what? It doesn't look like it was even opened. Have you checked it? Actually, I didn't even know you went to the doctors. When did you go? Yeah, remember how I was saying going to the doctor is a pain and stuff? Luckily, we live in this advanced age in society. I got one of those kits that you can do on your own and just send it in the mail. Oh, I didn't even know those existed. Must be nice being a guy. Shouldn't you open it up and check the results? Not doing anyone any good, just sitting on a table. Yeah, I was going to, and then I was like, nah, I'll check it out later. So, later. <laughs> later, right. So when is later exactly? It's been sitting here this whole time. If you're having trouble finding scissors or something, I don't mind opening it for you. Oh, come on, knock it off. I don't want to deal with something like that after working all day. All you have to do is open it and read the results. I'll check it for you if you want, but you need to see what's inside. Who knows? There might be more you have to do. Stop! Jeez! Why are you so persistent? I just want to lay back and relax a little after work, and you nag, nag, nag. I thought you didn't even want kids, huh? What happened to all that? If you truly didn't care one way or the other, you wouldn't be pestering me this much. I do want kids, yeah. I don't recall ever saying I didn't. All I said was I don't need one. Don't need, not don't want. I got tested because you and my mom won't stop writing me about it. That's it. I had a happy, peaceful life before this whole baby thing. And yeah, it's not just you anymore. Now my mom's bothering me about it. She's been calling me over and over. I can't even focus on my work at this point. Why are women so obsessed with babies? That's why I took the stupid test, just to shut you and my mom up and reclaim some sliver of sanity in this relationship. Fine. Good. Great. I don't care what the reason is. Just look at the stupid test results and be done with it then. I said I will, just not today. I'll look at it when I'm good and ready to, so drop it. I have to get back to work, so leave me alone already. Message my mom and tell her to knock it off too. Matthew, this isn't finished. Matthew! Matthew, I just got home and found something on a table. Do you want to explain what I'm looking at here? I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Did you forget how to read or something? <laughs> They're divorce papers, dummy. Yeah, I can read. What I'm sure you know I mean is, why are there divorce papers on the table? I don't remember doing something that warranted a divorce. I just figured there's no point in being with a woman who can't get pregnant, that's all. A woman who can't have kids is broken goods. There's no point in keeping junk around, so out you go. It's trash day, and I am kicking you to the curb. <laughs> You're calling me garbage now? Okay, what's going on? What are we even talking about here? I got tested. I went to the doctor. We went through all the tests, put up with all that, and everything was fine with me. There are no problems with my reproductive abilities. There's only two of us, and only one of us has a non-disclosure status. Yeah, about that. I can guarantee there are no problems with me. Okay, here's the big news. It's because my girlfriend is pregnant. <laughs> what? What do you mean your girlfriend is pregnant? Wow. First reading, now comprehension. The trash is falling apart. But seriously, do you need me to spell it out for you? 
Okay, well, since you can't get pregnant, my mom started to take matters into her own hands. She really wanted a grandchild, so she introduced me to her friend's daughter. She is a real cutie. We've been dating for about two months now. Actually, only two months, but despite that, she's already pregnant. <laughs> Even though we've been going at it for three years and have nothing to show for it. So yeah, the problem is definitely with you. Wow, you know that's cheating, right? How do you think this is going to end? Yeah, I know. I'm not going to try and hide it. I'm happy for the first time in a long while. You can have your day too. You want me to pay up, right? No problem. That was all part of the plan. Sign the papers and you'll get your cut. We want to start our lives together immediately. You are the worst. I can't believe you betrayed me like this. I loved you. I would have done anything for you. I can't believe your mom wasn't on it too. I guess scum doesn't crawl too far from the bug. The only reason she was in favor of our marriage in the first place is because you're seven years younger than me. She figured you'd be able to get pregnant quick. She never saw anything in you other than your ability to give her a grandchild. Unfortunately, no matter how hard I tried, you just couldn't get pregnant. You're the one who betrayed us. We both treated you well and gave you a good life and all you had to do was have a baby and keep mom happy. The only thing your mom saw in me was my young ovaries. You've got to be kidding. Sorry doll, but you're 30 now. You're practically a granny. <laughs> you know the older a woman gets, the more trouble they have conceiving, right? You couldn't get pregnant in three whole years. She got pregnant, like, instantly. I guess that's the difference between women in their prime and, well, you. I'll file the divorce papers too. Don't you worry about that. Oh, and you better lawyer up because I'm going to see that you pay for this. Make sure you're prepared. Whoa, okay there, cowgirl. You go get your six shooter and we'll meet at high noon. <laughs> Hey, did we just pass each other on the street? Oh no, I thought I managed to slip her sight. I guess he saw me. So yeah, it was me. Wow, it's been a while. How have things been? Staying healthy? Who were those people with you, by the way? That guy with the kid. Is he your new husband or something? I thought you were infertile, though. It's not yours, right? Oh, I get it. He's divorced, too. It's his kid from his previous marriage, right? Nope. The child is ours. She's my daughter. Yeah? No? Right, of course. I get it. I just meant you're not blood-related. No, we are. I gave birth to her. She has my genes, if that's what you're asking. No, that can't be. Remember all those years ago we went through that whole thing? You're infertile, and that's why we ended up splitting up. There's no way that kid can be yours if, well, you know, the equipment doesn't work. Who said I wasn't fertile? Have you already forgotten about that whole saga we went through surrounding our divorce? If your memory needs jogging, I, unlike you, actually went to the hospital and got checked. I was fine. There were no problems on my end, so you were supposed to get tested and then your girlfriend got pregnant. End of story. Not sure how you managed to forget about all that though. This whole time, I just thought you ended up going to some crackpot doctor or something. I still believe that. They had to be lying or something. You can't just believe everything you're told. Maybe it was a misdiagnosis. Wow, you are so bros. You really have to believe I'm lying to protect your fragile ego. Speaking of which, how are things on your end? Is everything going well in paradise? Knowing how you are. I was just wondering how you feel raising someone else's kid. How do you know about that? I didn't tell anyone. Yeah. After I left the house, your mom contacted me in a panic. She sent me a picture of your test results. The ones you just left to rot on the kitchen table. She was livid that I divorced her poor son just because he's terrible. She gave me quite the tongue lashing. I'm a decent person, so I understand that some things are private, even among family. So I didn't open it. She didn't seem to have a problem doing so though. Normally, I wouldn't condone such behavior, but in this instance, good on her. <laughs> That's how you figured it out. 
I knew you couldn't have known through normal means. Seriously, right now my life is a total mess because of my new wife. Oh, no, you poor baby. You mean to say after abandoning your wife because of your own laziness life hasn't been a picnic? What a shock. <laughs> your analysis is not appreciated. After that whole thing, I just left the results without looking. After all, my girl was pregnant, so I figured there was nothing to know. But after the baby was born, we moved. The envelope fell out of a box, and I just kind of looked, not really thinking anything about it. That's when I learned that I cannot actually have children. Yep, too bad. So whose kid is it after all? Do you know who the biological father is? Nope. I wish I knew. Even if I ask my wife about it, she won't say anything definitive. From what I've put together, she must have had a couple of guys on the side at the time. She really doesn't seem to know who the actual father is. Wow. So she had a harem of men, and out of all them, she picked you? You must be the luckiest man alive. Congratulations! She married me for money, obviously. Also because I'm some dimwit who didn't even notice her cheating until the very end. Wow. Did she actually say that? I'm kind of impressed. Well, isn't it that great? Two absolutely terrible people got together. I just feel bad for the poor kid. Well, with your salary, you should be able to pay for a divorce, no? No, I'm broke. If I just had to pay you and our own expenses, maybe, sure. But then this other guy came out and it was a whole thing. He demanded money for the ring and everything. She threatened to leave me if I didn't pay the guy. And you did? Wow. Your stupidity knows no bounds. You should have just broken it off with her. At the time, I was in love with her. Not to mention she was having a kid. I couldn't bring myself to do it. On top of that, she takes my whole paycheck. She says it's for the kid, but she uses it all on herself. And what does your mother have to say about the whole situation? In the beginning, she hated my wife over it. But after she cooled down, she became fine with it. She wanted a grandkid. And since I can't even have any children, she doesn't care whose kid it is. Now, they're like best friends. They go out together all the time. Just the two of them and the kid. I see. I guess that makes sense. As long as she has a grandchild, she's not going to sweat the details, I guess. I guess with all the piled against you, there's no way you could divorce. Yeah, it's just not going to happen. On top of that, my wife is my mother's friend's daughter and everything. I can't say anything about anything. And what about you? It's only been a few years, and you already have a new husband and kid? Isn't that a little too fast? You had a boyfriend too, didn't you? I don't want to be accused of anything by a man who dances around about getting his mistress pregnant. I went back to my hometown to look for work, got a job with a great boss. We fell in love and got married, that's it. Like that could happen. It's not some daytime soap opera. I think you're being tricked. Don't lump me in with you. I actually have a brain. My husband is so cute. If I flirt with him a little, he turns completely red. I can read him like a book. You think a guy like that can cheat? Even when he wants to surprise me with something, he can't help himself. He always tells me everything. Okay, I get it. I don't need to hear anymore. Why are you the only one who gets to be happy? I think they call it karma. You are gross, weak, wretched men who did terrible things. Of course, the results of those actions are going to cut shop with you sooner or later. I don't believe in karma. You married me, and then you just sat at home. I paid for everything the whole time we were married. You were living off my hard work. Sure, that was because of you working. But who supported you while you were working? Who was the one who made sure all you had to worry about was work? When you come home and just throw your clothes on the floor? Served every meal cleaned every plate, vacuum, laundry. Events for three years, you didn't do a single thing in the house. All the food in the house, a clean bathtub, pressed shirts. You think that all happened automatically? Sorry. Just because your life has taken a turn for the worse doesn't mean you should take it out on others. If you keep blaming everyone else, nothing will ever change. I suggest you spend less time complaining and more time thinking about what to do right in your life. Not that I think a person like you is actually capable of it. So anyway, 
This is the last time we'll ever speak. I'm blocking you. Bye. After that, I blocked my ex-husband. I heard through the grapevine that he's still living the same way. He's still putting up with it for his mommy's sake. But how long will that last, I wonder? I'm sure one of these days, he's going to explode. After moving, I found out I was pregnant with our second child. My family is getting bigger and our happiness grows every day. I can't wait to see what the future holds.